Every year this happens. Every year some commentator or fan completely misapplies the hit by pitch rules for baseball. In this video, we see a fairly unique example. Now the year has gone by since I've started coaching that somebody hasn't asked if the hands are considered a part of the bat. This example in this video is fairly unique. Here is how it developed. The year. Number eight hole hitter is Jack Ryan. Cole Minetti, the only one who is yet to hit, likely will come up next and bat in the nine spot, and then we're back to the top. <laughs> Let's stop the video here. The batter had two strikes on him. What should the umpire do? What is the call on the field? Don't worry if you guess wrong, you're not a paid professional. Let's let the video continue until you can see it up close in slow motion. On the hand, but it was a swing. 69 pitches and how efficient has Kaya been? Look at that fastball coming all the way inside. And you're doing everything you can to pull those hands in and just try to fight it off. You make the call now. What would your answer be? And by the end of this video, you'll be able to always know so you don't sound stupid like these commentators. And a side note here. I happen to really like these commentators, and I think they do an exceptionally good job. But this is not one of those examples. No swing, that's, he's standing at first base, but in the act of a swing, that's a foul ball just as if it would, it would hit the bat, but that hurts. So the commentator, Kyle Peterson, who played college ball at Stanford, had a pitching career in the major leagues, had worked for ESPN since 2003, covering the College World Series, Little League World Series, and Major League Playoffs. That Kyle Peterson claims that this is a foul ball. Seriously, you just heard it yourself. These rules have not changed in decades, if ever. If you swing a bat that does not contact the ball, it's a swing and a missed strike. This young man just struck out because the ball did not hit the bat. That is what the umpire is double checking with the video replay. None of these umpires are confused about the rule or the result. All they are discussing is if the ball hit the bat before hitting the hands. If it did, it'd be a foul. I recall watching this live, shocked that the commentators were not telling the audience the correct result here. At the end of this video, I'll describe every possible scenario and how to call it as an umpire. Now listen as they talk as if they are surprised at the answer. Shocking that these people have been doing this for so long and do not know a simple I'm not sure common what the, rule. Uh, discussions about. It's a foul ball. The umpire making the point call that he that it didn't hit the bat, so it's not a foul ball, and it's a swinging strike I three. Think the only th that voice was Carl Ravage, who has worked for ESPN since 1993. He has provided play-by-play -play commentary for the Little League World Series since 2003 and Major League Baseball as of 2013. He also does play-by-play -play for the College World Series. This man is still surprised the at the call. The umpire making the point call that he that it didn't hit the bat, so it's not a foul ball, and it's a swinging strike I three. I think the only thing you can look at here, I mean, clearly it hit him. Is to, I mean, maybe they're making sure it didn't hit his leg on the swing. It didn't hit his hand. If it hit your leg on a swing, you're out. Ball's dead. That's it. But I'm thinking that the point is it it didn't hit the bat, so it's no foul. It's a swing and a miss, and it's a strike three. I think that's what he's going to say to the uh, umpire here, and he's going to bring the. Manager down as well. I, I guess that's the point. So you swing, you don't hit the bat, no foul ball, you hit him, but it's still a strike three. I guess that's the point. It never really made contact with the bat. Here it comes. Listen yeah, no for it. Ball. So it's a swinging strikeout. I always thought the hands were part of the bat. So even if you got hit on the hands, it was part of the bat, it was a foul ball, but. And there it is. This comical statement made by Jessica Mendoza, who played softball professionally and has had a softball career that was stunningly great. She's been an ESPN color commentator since 2014, and in my opinion, does a very good job of it. 
Got to get one more on and get a chance to see Jansen Kenty bat again here in the sixth. Get ball. That, one that one did is. hit him. At least I thought it did. Yeah, he's going to first. That one did get him on the left arm. And there's your one guy at the plate that may bring you to Jansen Kenty. And that one with no swing. And that one looked like it may have got him on the wrist, too. Thankfully, just grazed him because you, you go low 70s on a fastball. That one, that gets you clean on the wrist. That could really hurt. Okay, a quick review on how the rules apply to a ball that hits the batter. Hands or anywhere else. Where it contacts the batter is irrelevant. And until you get new hands when you buy a new bat, the hands are still a part of the body and not the bat. Here are the possible options, and in every case, when the ball contacts the batter in any way while he is still in the batter's box, the ball is immediately dead and no runners may advance unless forced. If the batter swings and the ball hits the bat first and then any part of the body, it's a foul ball. If the batter swings and the ball hits the hand or any other part of the body, but not the bat first, it's a strike. If the batter had two strikes already, it would be a third strike. If the batter does not swing, but the ball hits the hands or any other part of the body, and the pitched ball was in the strike zone, it's a strike. If there were two strikes already, then this is strike three. If the batter does not swing, and the ball hits the hands or any part of the body, and the pitched ball was a ball, this is a hit by pitch. Take your base. If the batter does not swing, and the ball hits the bat, and then the body, hands or any other part, it's a foul ball. If the batter had two strikes, this would not be strike three. He'd be up to bat with two strikes. Those are the only options. Shot, he did kind of get the bat back, but the knob is going towards the baseball. And I can see that being a foul tip. Hands are part of the bat. Hands are part of the bat. 